demonstrator from the scenic rim in Queensland. I'm here on time this morning. Can you believe it? I'm actually here on time. The last couple of times I've been a little bit late, but I'm actually here on time. I'm actually a couple of minutes early. So welcome. I can see I've got a couple of people on already. Jill, Daryl and Loray, welcome. Uh, so I'm going to be crafting again with the Thoughtful Expressions bundle. Now, I want to know what your thoughts are. So I've crafted with it on Monday. I did my free class yesterday. I'm crafting with it again today. Are you absolutely smitten with this bundle? Because I can tell you I have totally fallen in love with it. I think it's absolutely such a stunning bundle. The dies are absolutely fabulous. And I think um, I can't believe that there would be anyone out there that wouldn't think that these dies are a definite staple in your craft room or they need to be. Um, so I'm going to create a really nice simple card today. And the card that I'm actually going to create was a card that we actually created in our team meeting last month. And um, so how we run our team meeting is that we um, we ask team members to pop up a picture of a card that they've made. And then when we jump on the Zoom call for the team meeting, we recreate those cards with supplies that we have in our craft room. So it's really great. It's um, it's a way of getting team members to show uh, their creativity and to show um, just their, their take on a certain stamp set or a certain bundle. And it's really nice to see all the different versions when you're using just your supplies out of your craft room. So you may not have the same designer series paper you may not even have the same bundle but we all get together and we craft and one of the one things that I think is so awesome about being a part of our wild heart crafters is the togetherness is the crafting together and hanging out together and actually all just having a, a nice chat and being able to get together and gather together and craft. So we have in-person team meetings and online team meetings, and I run them all at the same time. So I actually have people that come to my home and we all get out in my craft studio. And I also have people that are from around Australia everywhere that we all jump on a Zoom call and we get together every month. We gather together every month. So we will be gathering together again at the end of this month. Um, and it gets, it's a chance for team members to actually be able to show their creativity and share with others and actually walk us through how they created that card and we all create, recreate those cards together. So one of the, the cards that I'm, the card that I'm actually going to make today, I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm probably going to change out the color scheme and stuff, but we're going to do the same simple layout, but it was a gorgeous, elegant card that one of my team members, Annette, actually created and she makes some beautiful stunning cards and it's nice to see a nice simple clean card so that's actually what we're going to do today um and we're just generally going to have a good time so who else have we got that's jumped on margaret i've got a facebook user which i'm not real sure who that is janice welcome gina welcome joanne welcome good morning faith hello Welcome. So I'm here once again coming to you live and Marilyn, welcome. Coming to you live from my craft room. It is Wednesday the 6th of February 2024 and if you see the live um, count, the little live red light up in the corner that means I'm live so you are actually watching live so please feel free to say hello let me know where you're watching from and ask any questions while ever I'm on live I'm happy if I see the comment um, I'm quite happy to answer any questions you may have Jeanette welcome um, so, um, so of course the thoughtful expressions, I think has truly, uh, captured my heart this week. And it's, um, as I said, it's a stunning bundle. Even if you just go for the dies, I can tell you it's a stunning bundle. So, um, I'm thoroughly enjoying crafting with it at the moment. Now, I just wanted to chat with you about a few things that I have going on at the moment, and I don't know where my sheets of paper are that I normally show you what I have going on, but I'll just talk about it anyway. So, um, you've 
crack, packed your craft stuff up yesterday as I'm getting excited and packing my port for a little holiday next week. Okay. Well, where are you off to, Daryl? Let me know. Where are you heading to? Um, good morning, Alicia from Oklahoma. Welcome. Judy from Canada. Welcome. Jill, welcome. Are you home? Oh, no, overnight stop on the way home. Okay, I knew that you were heading back home after being away for four and a half months. So Jill has an awesome time. She lives over in Western Australia and she goes and looks after caravan parks. And so they travel and they stay for a few months and look after caravan parks and then travel back home again. What a wonderful life you have, Jill, traveling around. <laughs> um, isn't it March, not February? Why did I say February? Um, what did I, what did I say about February? I'm not real sure. <laughs> um, anyway, I, look, time's flying by. Who knows what month it is? No, it is actually March. <laughs> um, did I say February? Sorry. Uh, the 6th of March. Sorry. Um, you know, it ticks over to a new month and I just don't quite get the, the hang of it. Adelaide, Kangaroo Island, a couple of other days with tours booked. Well, have a lovely time, Daryl. I'm sure you will have a great time while you're away. Um, so I've got Judy from Canada. Welcome. Robin, welcome. <laughs> Jill said, yes, it's pretty good. She has a pretty good life. I think I would like to be traveling around. I'd like to be retired and traveling around. But you know what? I have a pretty good life anyway. I mean, I craft for a living. Like who couldn't say that that's not a good life. Um, I think I've got the perfect job. Um, and I'm, I'm actually getting ready for a macrame class that I'm doing this weekend. So I'm actually doing a macrame class. I've got 18 ladies that are actually going to gather together um, at the club here in Bow Desert. And we are actually going to make hat holders wall hat hangers, and we're actually going to make plant holders as well. So hanging plant holders. So I've got 18 ladies that are so interested in macrame. Who out there does macrame? Is it something that you've done? Um, is it something that you would like to do? I can tell you my macrame classes are um, a real hit here in Vaux Desert. Um, it's a fun, macrame is coming back. It's a really popular craft that is now made a real good comeback. Um, and there's some really, really lovely, trendy macrame projects out there. Good morning, Anne. Um, it would be good to be back crafting again, Jill. Yes, I agree. Um, <laughs> Janice is saying it sounds lovely, Daryl. And he said, said that it's exciting. Never been down that way. Well, I'm sure you will have lots and lots of photos and I'm sure you will have some great experiences while you're down there. All right, so let's get to crafting this simple card for you. Um, my friend who wants to come to retreat with me does macrame. Um, you've had a go, but you prefer paper yourself. Um, macrame is just a little bit of a side gig that I'm doing, Laray, but I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, and it's, um, yeah, it's a fun pastime. Um, we've got Facebook user is telling me that your mum makes purses and bags in macrame years ago. Yep. Yep. Um, good afternoon, Donna. Welcome from Washington State. Welcome. So glad to have you here. So I go live every morning at 8 a.m. except for Tuesday. So Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of the week I go live. And I always concentrate on one suite or one bundle for the week. And the reason why I do that is I want to show you many, many options with that one bundle. So I want to show you that you don't just get a bundle and make one card. I want to show you that you can make several cards using the same bundle and each and every one can look very different and very unique on its own. So I want to, I want to make you realize that when I concentrate on a suite like this is that um, it will show you that if you purchase that suite that there's many, many options. So I try to share as much as I possibly can with you to be able to help you if you decide to purchase the bundle that I'm featuring for the week um, to, to be able to recreate and come back and case these cards that I'm doing. Um, Anne said that she used to do macrame years ago. You'll have to show us what you make. I will. I can tell you. I have many, many projects. I've done wall hangings. I've done wall art. 
Um, I've done I've done key tags and things. I've done hat hangers. Um, I'm doing wooden shelves. Um, so hanging wooden shelves. That's going to be my next class in uh, the scenic rim. So I've got a, a, a permanent gig with the club here in Bow Bo Desert to do um, every two months to do a macrame class. So um, this one is our first one this Saturday afternoon. And as I said, there's 18 ladies. So um, it'll be a fun, great, cre creative afternoon. And I, I can tell you, I live in a lovely country area and people are, are like really striving to find some crafty things to do to entertain them. Hello, Faye. Welcome. Lovely to see you. All right. So let's pop the camera down and we will get into crafting. I just wanted to recapture the cards that we've already created using this beautiful bundle. So the Thoughtful Expressions Bundle, it's got a beautiful hummingbird, some gorgeous flowers. The sentiments are absolutely stunning in this set. Um, and you will see the dies are fabulous. So we've got nesting dies that are absolutely fabulous. And my dies are still over here, over to the side and in quite a bit of a mess. Hang on and I see if I can um, tidy them up a little bit so you can actually see how wonderful these nesting dies are. Let me get rid of that hummingbird die out of there and the flower die. Okay, so we can sort of see from what I have here. Let me get them a little bit sorted. So we have quite a few nesting dies in this shape here. So as you can see, absolutely, like you can layer up on layer with these dies. So um, we will do an avid fun fold card on Friday and we will use these gorgeous layering dies and show you how you can actually layer up so many different dies in this set. So in this one, we've got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six in that. And then we've got one, two, three, four in this one. So I mean, to get a set of layering dies, like nesting dies like that is really, really awesome. Plus then you've also got the nice little intricate dies. You've got the leaves, you've got the dies to cut out the large flowers and the, and the die to cut out the gorgeous hummingbird as well. So um, it's a beautiful set of dies if you just wanted to purchase the dies on their own, but the stamps are stunning as well. So um we are, um, yeah, Lorraine, it is a great crowd. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to cope with 18 people trying to teach them how to tie some knots. But anyway, so these are the, the four gorgeous cards that I've created so far. So this was the first one, and this was just casing um, one of the projects that Stampin' Up! had actually designed. So I just cased it and changed it up a little bit, added a few more layers because you know me, that's what I do. Um, but that was actually casing one that they actually had. Now, this was my free class that I did yesterday today. So for anyone that, and thank you for everybody that has placed orders yesterday. Um, I will be prepping your kits and getting them out by the end of this week. Um, sorry, by early next week. Um, and I've got a busy week coming up next week. So I'm actually going to be away. I'm flying down to Melbourne on um, Thursday next week. I'll just pop that camera back up while I have a bit of a chat with you about this. Um, so on Thursday next week, I will actually be flying to Melbourne for our Stampin' Up! convention. So the convention is a... Um, it's for Stampin' Up! demonstrators only, and we all gather together, and it's um, everyone from o all over Australia and New Zealand have been invited to a three-day event. So we will be, I will be flying down to Melbourne on Thursday and returning again on Sunday, but then on Monday... I will be leaving on a holiday with my parents for about five or six days, so for the week. So I I will not be live as in crafting next week, but I will be live as in what I get up to while I'm away with my parents. I might show a little bit of my father singing. So we're going to a country music festival at Gunnedah, which I've been to a couple of years ago. I went two years in a row and I loved it. And then for the last couple of years, I haven't been able to go. So this year I've actually decided that um, my parents aren't getting any younger. So I've decided that I'm actually going to trip off and go and travel with them um, and spend uh, a few days down in Gunnedah at a country music show. So to give you a bit of an idea, 
it's about nearly seven hours drive away from here. So I will be flying home on the Sunday and I will be jumping in my bus and taking Theo, the crafty cat, with me. And we will be heading off on Monday morning for um, a week's holiday down there. And I think we'll be traveling back home on the Sunday I think. Um, so I'll be back the week after. Um, so yeah, busy, busy time. March is very busy for me at the moment, but um, I try to fit in as much crafting as I possibly can. And I really, even when I go away, I absolutely miss my crafting. I can't wait to get home and get back into the craft room. All right. So these are the gorgeous cards that we've already created. So as I said, you can earn your kit for free to make these three cards. I will give you all the pieces of cardstock, um, but you will need the bundle to be able to do all the die cuts because I don't do the die cutting for you. All right. So let's move on to making this gorgeous card that I'm going to make and I'm going to recreate from our team meeting. So I'm just going to bring in and I'm going to create this right from scratch. I don't even have the card base or anything done. So um, we are going to start creating right from scratch. Sorry, I just had to go and get my paper trimmer and my glue and my scissors from out on my kitchen bench uh, because I was busy prepping the kits for my macrame class. All right, so um, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to take some thick basic white and the thick basic white is always what I use for my card bases. Now we have regular basic white, but we also have thick basic white. So the thick basic white is designed to use as your card bases and then our regular basic white is for doing our layers and things. What happens to Theo when you go to Melbourne or overseas? Okay, so I have a lovely friend who is a team member of mine and my bingo friend Lucy and Lucy comes and feeds him. So she comes morning and afternoon and feeds him. So he will be a little bit lonely when I'm away overseas, but I'm sure she will actually probably spend a little bit of time here. She loves Theo, so I'm sure she'll spend a little bit of time here um, nursing him and and giving him some love and care. Um, all right, so I've cut my card base at five and three quarters by eight inches. Now, some of you might, might say, why do you cut your card bases like that? Now, the reason that I actually don't do an exact half sheet of our card stock is that sometimes card stock may not be cut quite exactly at the right size, where if I actually cut it at five and three quarters by eight every single time, I know my card base is always going to be the same. Good morning, Julie. Good morning, Lynn. Welcome. I can see I've got a Facebook user from New Zealand. Not quite sure who that is. Welcome, Sherry from Indiana. Welcome. Lovely to see you. Okay, so the reason why I cut my card bases like that is so that I actually have um, the same size card base each and every time that I actually um, use my bases and my layers, okay? Now I'm going to, I think I'm going to choose, now I need some patterns in this paper that is going to be um, two patterns that are going to go together really, really nicely. So I need to, um, I'm using the Poetic Expressions paper. Um, what am I going to use? Okay. So we might be able to use... This one here, I think I'm going to go in the blue tones today. So we could use that one and even this one. So this one and this one, I think that's what I'm going to use. Um, now, I should have some of that other little one, I think, cut already. So let me get in my scraps here and see if I have that little one already cut. There it is. Okay, so I don't need to use that whole sheet. So I've got a piece of that. So I've got two complementing sheets of designer series paper here. So I wanted a, a bold blue piece and then a piece with just a little um, a little tiny piece of that, that um, blue in it. So you can see there. Um, quick question, which of the two basic white cardstock thickness is the best to get? I see there's one thicker than the other, or should I buy both? So, Lorraine, I just actually explained the difference. So, the thick basic white is for your card bases, 
okay? So the thick basic white is as thick as our regular colored cardstock because our regular colored cardstock you can use as your card bases. Morning, Della. Lovely to see you. I haven't seen you for a while. Welcome. I hope everything's well with you. Good morning, Cheryl, Sue. Welcome. Kay, welcome. Um, so the thick is for your card bases. So my suggestion would be to get one of each. So the thick is for your card bases and the regular white is for all of your inserts and your layers on top. Okay, so I only use the thick for the card base, but I use the regular for everything else. I use the regular for stamping on, for die cutting. Um, oh, that's all right. No worries. Um, good morning, Anne. Welcome. Um, oh, Anne, I'm looking forward to seeing you in Melbourne as well. I can't wait. So, all right, so we've got that. Then I'm going to get just a piece of the basic white because we're going to do a layer that we're going to emboss um out of the basic white so i'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and we are going to cut a normal regular layer which is going to be five and a half inches by three and three quarters and we're going to need one for the insert as well so i'm going to cut two of them at that size so five and a half by three and three quarters so one we're going to emboss the other one we're actually going to um, use as our insert so we've got that done all right now the next thing that we need to do we need to actually do a layer of our basic white to go underneath our um our designer series paper layers now i'm just going to measure this one that we've got on this card so three and a quarter by five okay so we're going to do three and a quarter by five for that layer so three and a quarter by five inches. Now that's a layer that's going to go on the front. And then we're actually going to do some designer series paper layers on there as well. So I'm just going to check my size for the designer series paper. So we've got three inches by three and a half. And then we've got three inches by about one inch okay so three inches by three and a half so i'm just going to do three and a half inches this way and three inches that way okay so we have that one piece there so that one's going to layer up on there then we're going to do a one inch section by three inches so we'll do one inch there by three inches whoops and get my there okay so we have that one there okay now you'll see that they don't quite line up but that's okay because our ribbon is going to go over the top of that so when you're trying to conserve cardstock or designer series paper um, it doesn't matter if you've got a thicker ribbon that's going to go over that then that will cover that up all right so we've got that that and that all right so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss that layer and I just wonder whether I have I actually might emboss it with this new um, zinnia 3d embossing folder and the reason why i'm going to do that is this is a new online exclusive product that we have at the moment and the online exclusive products have been released to um customers as of now i think it was yesterday that they got released so um, i'm just going to use base plate number one and i'm going to use that gorgeous zinnia now you need to check the pattern on these because the zinnia pattern the flower pattern it goes this way so if i want it to be a vertical card i need to make sure that i've got the pattern going the right way if i put it in here then my zinnias would be going sideways and we don't want that to happen all right so we need to make sure that we line it up and i always like to use that line that we have on that on that um embossing folder so the line to help you get it nice and straight with the pattern we're going to have the fold going through first and that's going to go through our rollers first because we don't want to break our embossing folder. Okay. And then we're going to pop. So we've just got our base plate number one. Then we've got our number four over the top and we're going to roll that through. 
Welcome, Susan. I didn't see you jump on. Welcome, Patricia. Welcome. Lovely to see you. All right, so we have embossed that white layer that we're going to put on the front there with those gorgeous zinnias. So you can see absolutely a stunning embossing folder. So are you all going to miss me next week when I, or well, the week after actually, um, I'll be away for a couple of weeks. So, um, but I will, I, maybe I'll take some crafting with me. You never know. I might be able to jump on and do a video. I might surprise you. All right, so we have that. I'm going to fold my card base so that we get everything sorted here. So we're going to fold the card base in half and burnish with our bone folder. We're going to do a little bit of die cutting for the front as well. We've got our piece for inside. We've got these pieces lined up for the front. So we've got that. We've got this. We've got this and this. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to grab just um, – a piece of our scrap. Now I'm going to wait. I'm going to just see if the flower is going to fit onto here. Uh, let me see if it will fit on that scrap. Oh, look at that. It will. Okay. And then I'm going to, with um, some Night of Navy, I'm going to do the leafy images that we did. I'm going to do a couple of those as well. So, as I said, this is quite a simple card, so we should be able to get two out of that. Yes, and I need to pop those pieces of paper out of there. Okay, so we're going to cut two of the leaves and we're going to cut one of the flowers. So I'm just going to bring in my cut and emboss and we will do that. And I also want to cut a sentiment label for the front as well so let's move those aside let's bring in the cut and emboss again so we've got for cutting die cutting we've got our number one plate our number two plate and one of our number three plates so we're going to add that there we're going to add the flower there and I also want to cut one of the little sentiment labels. So this little one here, I'm going to use as a sentiment label, but I actually might, um, will I be able to fit a bigger one? Let me see if I can fit the next size up. I might grab a piece of, um, I'm gonna grab a piece of cardstock to do that. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of white on here to be able to cut that one out. So we'll do that. I might actually just turn it that way. We'll cut those things out and then we'll come back and we will cut out another layer to nest up. I'm, I'm adding a little bit extra onto this card compared to what we did at team meeting, but I just wanted to show you how awesome these nested dies are. Hello, Card Crazed from Canada. Welcome. I'm not sure about this Zinnia D DSP. Need to see some cards made with it. It's very bright, um, but I can tell you I actually did, even just in my um, card buffet just recently, we did a card with it, and all I did was I just used a little strip of it, and it was absolutely stunning. All right, so we need another – get rid of those – up there we need another one of the leaves in the night of navy so let's pop that back through so we have one of our flowers lordy lordy i got up this morning and i started doing all these extra things i started sorting out clothes for my holiday um I was supposed to be going for a walk this morning and the walk didn't happen because I got too engrossed in my clothing and um, ended up didn't go for a walk. So I'm going to have to go for a walk, I don't know, either in the middle of the day today or this afternoon. So I've got one of those leaves. I've been on a bit of a health kick. I'm trying to get the Mexico body for my Mexico incentive trip. So I'm trying to lose weight and regain my life back again. I um. I know that I um, I had um, lots of things that have happened in my life recently and I just 
Um, I put on extra weight, as we all do, and I really needed to get my life back together again. So I started a big health kick just recently, and I'm super excited. I've lost like four and a half kilos so far, um, and I've been doing it now for about five weeks, I think. So I've lost four and a half kilos. Or it might even be six weeks. Um, but I've come to a bit of a standstill, and it's because – Every now and then I go, oh, I can't walk today. I'll have to do this. I'll have to do it later. And, yeah, um, so I really physically need to get back out and walk again. So we've got that one. We've got that one. And I might – no, I think that's all I'm going to do. Okay, and we've got that leaf dye there. All right. So let's take that cut and emboss out of the way without – taking my glass mat with it okay so we've got quite a few little bits and pieces here to be able to create this card now we need to do a little bit of stamping because we need the sentiment now I actually thought the sentiment this morning I actually liked this one sometimes there are no words now isn't that just a great sentiment you know like when someone's lost someone when someone's going through a hard time um, sometimes we have situations in our life that you are just stuck for words and sometimes you really you really just um, are that sometimes there are no words that is going to make something better so I actually thought this sentiment was really really good and I um, sadly one of um, my old team members passed away and she's been a team member of mine for um, for actually, yeah, on and off for the last probably five years or so. And she she actually, um, I got a, a message from her daughter and I, I was so shocked. I knew that she had been unwell but I um, and I knew that she was battling. I knew that she was very unwell because she actually fell ill while she was overseas and it took them oh, maybe six weeks or so trying to get her well enough to get her to travel back to Australia. But she's been back in Australia for about 12 months or so. Um, and sadly, she passed away on Saturday morning. And sometimes there are just no words. I'm I'm still in a state of shock. I actually messaged some of my friends just when I got the news and I said, I just can't believe she's not here anymore. And um, so sometimes there are just no words that can make things any better. Um, Susan, you've really been enjoying my classes, getting lots of inspiration and ideas and my mojo back again. Thanks so much. I'm off to my beating class now. Bye, everyone. Well, have a lovely time, Susan, and I'm so glad that I'm getting your mojo back. Um, sometimes you just need to be re-inspired again. Um, so Gina said that she gained 10 pounds after your mum passed just passed in December, stressing, stress eating. And that is exactly me, Gina. That's exactly what I've been doing. I've been stress eating. I went through um, a, a horrible stage in my life for probably the last three years. And I'm, I'm now rebuilding my life again, starting a new life in a new town, um, on my own, building new friendships and things. And honestly, I have gained, and this is not a word of a lie, I've gained 20 kilos more than what I've ever been in my entire life. So I'm now slowly trying to get rid of that 20 kilos. So I still have about 15 and a half kilos to go, but I will get there sooner or later. So um, so I'm going to stamp this. Sometimes there are no words because I. sometimes we have situations in our life that there are no words, okay? So I, I thought this was a lovely, a lovely, um, sentiment so um oh and i've just put night of navy ink underneath my poor little um non non fingernail finger fingernails but anyway all right so we have that we have that we have um i probably should have done that one in balmy blue i mean sorry in boho blue but we will see what it looks like whether it's going to work okay I, it may yeah it might work yep it's going to work all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to adhere our designer series paper onto our um our white layer here so with the blue one we're going to adhere so you could do it so you could have done it in all different color combinations i'm going to show you the one that we did in our team meeting so you can see the difference between mine and the one that 
we did in the team meeting. So we're just going to line that one up there with a nice even border, top, bottom and sides. We're going to do the same thing with this little piece as well. And I, I feel like actually, to tell you the truth, so Lynn's saying sometimes too much exercise will have the opposite effect to what you're hoping to achieve. It's not through too much exercise, Lynn, that is for sure, because I have been not walking for the last, um, I did walk, I, I went for a walk on Monday, but I haven't, I didn't walk yesterday, I didn't walk Saturday, I didn't walk Sunday, um, so I've missed a couple of days there, so I need to get back into my walking. All right, so we've got our designer series paper on there, so we've got a little bit of a gap there, but it's totally okay because our boho ribbon is going to go through here, okay? So the boho ribbon is going to cover up those two, uh, that little gap. You could do them, you could cut that maybe at one and a quarter inches and actually have it that they meet, but there was actually no need to have it meeting. All right, so I'm just going to grab my seal plus now and I'll add a little bit of seal plus on the back. Like so. And we will now wrap that ribbon around. Now, when you actually get your ribbon on the spool, I, I just wanted to let you know this. When you get your ribbon on the spool, the way it's actually wound around the spool, this is the right side of the ribbon. So the side that you see when it's actually wrapped around the spool is the right side of the ribbon. So if we turn it over that way, that's the wrong side of the ribbon. So the side that's actually showing on the outside when you actually get your roll of ribbon, um, that is actually um, the, the ribbon. The name of the DSP is Poetic Expressions. N, Poetic Expressions. No, I'm not paused Facebook user. It's probably Facebook doing something crazy. So you probably just need to refresh because um, I'm not paused. <laughs> Someone type in the comments that I'm not paused. Um, yeah. <laughs> Lorraine. Lorraine said it also goes with what goes in the mouth. <laughs> your big downfall. Yep, I know. And, and you know, we all, I, I mean, I don't know about you, but I love food. I physically, I actually said I could never be anorexic because I love food too much. There's no way that I could ever starve myself like that. So, um, but how are you going, Lynn? I know Lynn, um, Lynn, you and I were both on a bit of a health kick. So how are you going? Is your weight loss going all right? All right. So we have our ribbon wrapped around like that. We're going to add a dimensional on the back of um, our sentiment label here. Oh, I'm going to finish off this lot. All right. So we're going to pop up that sentiment label onto that Knight of Navy label. Oh, sugar is your thing, Gina. Yeah, I'm a bit of a sweet tooth too, but what I, what I find is... Um, um i find that i if i don't have it in the house i don't crave it so all i do is i make sure that i have nothing in the house i did actually have a bit of a um a bit of a oh and that's crooked i did actually have a bit of a setback uh when i did my card buffet because silly me bought biscuits and every time i do it it happens i bought biscuits for the card buffet and then they didn't get eaten so who ate them I spent the next three days eating all of the biscuits that I bought for all of the ladies. And so therefore my weight loss stopped. It actually went back up. It went up about oh, 800 grams. So I was so, I was so frustrated with myself. I was so um, devastated that I did that. And so then I got back onto it again this week and I've gone back down. So I lost the 800 grams. So um, if I hadn't have had that slip up, but sometimes you need to have those slip ups. I mean, sometimes you need to just, um, long way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, actually that's what the doctor told me. That's what I need to get to as well. Lynn, that's what they actually told me. That is my ideal weight is 60 kilos. I would love to be 60 kilos. That, that's what I used to be. I used to always be 60 kilos. So Julie, well done. Julie's lost nearly 20. Well done. Excellent work. Give yourself a good pat on the back. All right, so I'm just going to add that onto my card. I'm just trying to find where my sample card is. Where did it go? There it is there. Okay. 
I'm going to add that right there like that. Okay, so we've got that popped up on dimensionals. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of liquid glue on the leaves. So, Lynn, do you remember making this in the last team meeting? This was a lovely card that Annette did. I'm just going to pop that. Oh, I think I'm going to pop it in under there, on there. Okay, we'll pop it onto that layer because I've added a layer. We didn't have this layer and the one in the team meeting. But it's really, really, it's so nice to actually um, see other people's ideas and get other people's ideas from their crafting. And we'll pop that one in underneath there. Then we've got a uh, um, flower that I'm going to use a tiny, tiny, there's a little tiny bit, tiny bit of dimensionals, and I'm going to pop it in behind on that flower. So that's just a tiny little edge bit of my dimensionals. And that's going to pop up beside that sentiment label. So just here. Okay. So super, super um, simple yet a stunning card. And then we're going to pop that up on dimensionals onto the front there. Yeah, so as Lynn said, it was a simple card, but it was so easy to make. It was like a couple of die cuts, a couple of bits of designer series paper, yet it's such a stunning, striking card. Like it's just, um, I think the simplicity of it is what makes it so pretty. I mean, you all know I'm an avid crafter, so I throw so many things on a card. It's not funny. And sometimes I, I love, I would love to be, a crafter that can do these simple designs um, but I don't know why I, I struggle with the simplicity <laughs> is it because I am a fully avid crafter <laughs> all right so we're going to do that then I'm going to add a little bit of seal plus on the back oh, sorry um liquid glue on the back I don't know what's going on with me at the moment. I'm saying words. I'm thinking words in my head and I'm saying opposite words out loud. have no idea why, but seems to be happening lately. All right, so we're just going to adhere that onto the front of the card. Then we're going to grab our insert. Okay, so beautiful. As you can see, stunning, beautiful card. All right, so now for our insert, I think I'm going to take the large flower. I'm going to ink up in Night of Navy so that we have, um, yeah, the colour contrast does make that wow well factor, doesn't it? So I'm going to ink up with our Night of Navy. We are going to stamp our flowers down in the corner in Night of Navy. And then I'm going to bring in my boho blue which is here i'm going to bring in my wink of stella if i can get the one that's got wink of stella in it that's the empty one i need to pop that out so i can refill that one all right so we're going to do boho blue Faith said that she thinks that the, um, yeah, that the Night of Navy sets it off. I make it look so easy. It is, Daryl. So now we're going to colour with our boho blue on the petals of that flower. Just to add a little bit more to that flower on the inside so i'm just picking up with my wink of stella and coloring on those flowers flower petals and i think i'm going to pick up some dark and just do the inside with the dark I could probably do Night of Navy in the inside there, but actually I might. 
right, let's see if I can pick up some Knight of Navy. Yes. This will make the centers better. There we go. Some Knight of Navy in the centers. And then, of course, we will add some just in the centers of those leaves. Okay. And then, of course, we just take a scrap piece of our paper, run our wink clear. And where did I put the lid? Okay. Oh, Everyone's going, it's on your desk, probably. <laughs> Daryl says, you make it look so easy. I get these great designs in my head. And when I have finished, I look at it and then I think, oh, crap, to me, it doesn't look good. I get so frustrated at times. You need to be not so hard on yourselves. I can honestly tell you we are our worst, own worst critics. And, like, honestly, yeah, exactly. Like, um, we are too critical on ourselves. You know, like, I'm, I'm positive that if you gave a card that you've created to somebody, they would rave over it because, um, because like, you, you need to realise it's handmade it's not meant to be perfect. And I honestly, I physically, uh, the easiest thing is just to case things. And um, does the ink color stick to the wink of Stella? Does it all come off? So yes, Julie, you just run it on a on a piece of, I just did it on a scrap piece of paper then. You just run, run it on a scrap piece of paper and it goes back clear again. Yep. Um, Yes, practice makes perfect. And you know what? I didn't get to be making these cards like this fight in five seconds. Like I've been card making now for over 10 years, you know, like so that's what you need to say. Um, yeah, exactly. Or ask someone else their opinion because I can honestly tell you, you may be looking at it thinking it's not what you want, but I can tell you other people will look at it and say it's stunning. So, um so please, I, I, it makes me sad when I hear people saying things like that because you are your own worst critics. Like, so I'm just going to add some of our little rhinestones around and just, and all that does is give a little bit of sparkle. And then, of course, we will spritz with our wink of Stella because we can. So I'm just going to squeeze some down into the barrel there and spritz over the front and on the inside of our card okay and that gives beautiful shimmer and shine you can see there on the inside and look at those flowers shimmering um jill no the they are not available to order just yet let me double check i will jump on and check um, let me see. I'm going to just jump onto the website and check, but, um, Jill is asking whether the hexagon bundle or the modern oval punch is available yet. And I'm nearly positive it's not just yet, but I'm going to double check right now as you are on here, because I'm sure there will be other people that will be wanting to know the same thing as well. Um, so just Bear with me, ordering, inventory status report. Okay. Um, so at the moment, the things that aren't available at the moment are our watercolour paper, pretty peacock, bubble bath, boho blue cardstock, and lighter than air designer series paper. The stamp sets that aren't orderable are botanical layers and trusty tools. And the not orderable tools are the bow punch, the model oval punch, Lifetime of Love Dies and Heartfelt Hexagon Punch. Okay, so it's still not. It says March 25th for the Heartfelt Hexagon and it says for Modern Oval March 11th. It says the Bow Punch March 4. Um, so, I mean, the Bow Punch should be back in, but obviously they haven't received it yet. So, um, so there's a few things that aren't available at the moment, but... Um, the only one thing that I really want to tell you about is the um, the embossing 
powders that we have. So I just want to give you the heads up because this is some information that I know. Um, so please, if you like the card that I did, please give me the thumbs up. Um, and please like and share my video because sharing my video helps me get um, reach other people, which is really follow a sketch if you need inspiration. Okay, so um, Card Craze has got a great comment there. Follow a sketch if you need inspiration. I find that choosing my own papers and colors, then follow a sketch is a great way to get your mojo going, which is a great idea. I do agree with that. Um, I find if I'm not happy with the results, I find to go away. Okay, so I'm just going to pop Patricia's comment up here. I find if I'm not happy with the results, I find to go away and look in a few hours or the next day with fresh eyes and can give you a different opinion on your work. Um, so, yeah, um, like honestly, uh, the, the idea of, um, and I love card craze here, you know, pra practice practice makes perfect and ask someone if the card looks good before tossing it and I physically have not tossed a card in a long a long long time like not since I've started stamping um, started crafting I think in probably the first maybe six months I did um, and it's very it's very very rare that I will actually throw something out because something can always be fixed something can always be added to make the card look a little bit more sometimes um pinterest is good for ideas donna says as well um sometimes just adding a layer in behind adding an embossing folder in the background like um sometimes it can be just a simple little thing like that i actually want to um i need to show you i forgot to show you the card that we did in um in our meeting so that's the card that i've cased it from so you can see just the difference in the designer series paper and the colors and you get a whole different look so um annette used our wild wheat and our bubble bath for our um our team meeting card and we also use the let's eat cake out of the hexagon bundle um but i've used the um the sentiment out of the thoughtful expressions and i've also used um the boho blue and night of navy as a different um, color scheme so you can see just by changing up the color scheme how different it can look um, so that's actually the card that I cased it from so um, it's really really lovely to be able to case other people's work um, and to be able to get a different look um, on on the card you know like so hopefully you've enjoyed that craft session if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please make sure you subscribe please give me the thumbs up. YouTube and Facebook love it when you give me the thumbs up. Share this video. Share this video back. If you're on YouTube, share it back onto your Facebook private face um, profile. If you um, are on Facebook, share it. Share it. Um, just share the video with your friends so that they can actually come and hang out and catch the replay as well. So thank you everyone for hanging out with me and I will be back live again at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, which is Thursday. It will be Thursday, the 7th of March, 2024. Um, so I will be back here. Oh, the embossing powders, sorry. Um, embossing powders, they're changing the, um, they're changing our supplier. So, and they thought that they were going to have enough embossing powders to actually last us to the changeover. So what I'm trying to tell you is um, they may run out of the embossing powders. So if there is embossing powders as far as metallic embossing powders or just our um, neutral embossing powders like the white, the clear, the black, um, please jump on and order. Um, now, if you order $100 or more through my online store using that QR code up there or the link in the show more box down below. If you order $100 or more during the 5th of March through to the 9th of March, you will get a card kit to make the three cards that I created yesterday in my free class. So that's the cards that I created yesterday, or oh, sorry, that way, in my free class yesterday. So if you place a $100 order using the host code, so if you use that QR code that's up in the, the top screen there or you use a link that's in the show more box down below you will earn a free kit if you order from now until um 
until Saturday night. So, um, yeah, the embossing powders may go away. So if you're running low on embossing powders, I would suggest go out and get those embossing powders. So um, we will actually be at on stage next week. So on Thursday, probably on Friday and Saturday, I will probably try and jump on and do a bit of a live video so you can see how much fun we have at our Stampin' Up! convention. It is so, so much fun. I actually live for these conventions that we get together with our crafty Stampin' Up! besties. So I can't wait. There's, if anyone is in Melbourne that is a demonstrator that you watch me and follow me, please find me at Stampin' Up! at the um, on stage. Please find me. Come and say hello. Introduce yourself. Have a chat with me. I love it when people actually come up to me and let me know because sometimes you're a, a name on a screen, but sometimes to actually put a face to the name is really, really wonderful. And we can get a selfie. So let's, let's try having on stage being the day of selfies that we actually can get a selfie and I'll share them all on my Facebook business page. So thank you everyone. And until tomorrow, have a lovely day and I will see you all again.